So the trick that I learned on uh, obviously doing work like this, a few things. One is you need to have the right tools. So if, hopefully I have all the tools out. The second, you need to secure it well to a base when you're working on. So the first thing I want to do is uh, examine where the hole is uh, in this little um, uh, brass flange here. And it looks like it's lined up directly on t even with the ring here that goes around the outside the ring. So I'm going to use a punch to uh, establish a hole uh, where my drill bit's going to go. And uh, so first things first, I think that's about right. And I got a, I got a little uh, hole there where it's going to start, but it's, that one's perfect. Well, it's close to perfect as one can get. And then do the same thing on the other side. Line them up. And that one's good too. Uh, I can, it's actually just a hair to the one side and with the drill bit, I'll straighten that up. Next thing you do is to take the flange, and since I'm going to try to drill through these, I want to have the flange sticking off the edge of the board. I could just drill down to the board, but I don't want to do that. Um, and I'm, uh, I've already put this on once just to see how it goes. And so I'll set my uh, drill here, line up the holes that I used previously. So I know where it is. So this will just be hanging off the edge of the uh, the board I have here. Okay, so that's snug. So the this is secured. I'm gonna have my drill bit here, uh, and it's set on the drill setting. And then uh, what I want to do is this one is uh, really well done. So I've got a punch. I've got a starter hole. I'm not too happy about what this is. So let's see, we'll try here. It's going in right where I want it. This is a two, this is a 2.5 by, a 2.5 uh, drill, uh, millimeter drill bit. It's for a three by 0.5 screw. There's a quite a bit of bite on these things, as you can see. And the uh, previous holes, just so you know, were drilled all the way through. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. And there it goes. It went through well. It's pretty much where I want. It's pretty much on center. Did it veer off just a little bit to one side. And um, I'm going to stop this and get my tap set out because I tried to use the tap that came with theirs. Actually, let's just do this. This is um, probably overkill in terms of size, but I'm going to use this larger tap. I had a, a smaller one, but it didn't want to tighten down. on. This is probably one of the smallest taps in here. Didn't want to tighten down on it. Um, Let's see, where is that other one, just to show you. I'll have it over here. Uh, this is the one I wanted to use, the tap set. But uh, this will work too. I just have to be a little bit more careful. So I've got my drill, my hole drilled. And then, now I could use some um, tapping some fluid in here to keep the heat down. But because I'm doing this by hand, I really don't need to use it. And this brass is so soft. So I will get it started. And it supports itself now, so I really don't have to. And it's gonna go directly down through the hole. You can hear it tapping away here. This is actually where the fluid would be good. I think I'm going to stop this and go get my fluid. I'll be right back. I bought this lube th um, for uh, cutting uh, threads and metal cutting and like years ago when I was um, cutting some uh, stainless steel backer plates for my sailboat. And so, just, uh, just put a little bit in here. I didn't like the no way that was sounding. And I, you can see now it's not making any noise. There it goes, making noise again. Maybe I'll back it out. Just a hair. 
Get a little bit more lube down in here. So hopefully it'll penetrate the whole thing. There we go. And still making a noise. It's gonna make a noise. We're almost through, I think. Yeah, I can feel the bottom of it coming out now. So it's tapped. We'll go all the way down to the bottom of the threads just to make sure they're nice and clean. So this is a 3.0 tap and uh, had a 2.5 millimeter uh, drill bit. And we're backing it out now. See, it got tapped all the way down and I don't want to damage the threads in any way. So I'm just trying to support it because this is to have overkill for the for what we're doing for the tap and here's my uh, one point or two point or three oh by point five zero five or zero point five screw and I'm just going to check it out make sure everything's great perfect okay so that side's done I'm going to do the same thing on the other side I won't repeat it here on the on the camera yeah, but I'll come back as soon as it's done. So I guess I am going to show what I was doing. Um, I put a couple of screws in there to hold this down. This hole is a little bit, uh, when I when I used the punch here, the starter hole, the punch, it was a little bit to one side, and I don't want it, I'd want to drill it that close to the edge. So to get it started, just basically, I angled the drill away from it where you want, or toward where you want it to move. And so now I've got it, the hole started right in the center where I wanted it. And it uh, looks pretty good. And again, I'm going to, this time I'm not going to dilly dally so much. Hope you can, hope you can see this. I'm not in the way, no, I'm not. There we go. And this one's actually drilled better, even though I started in a worse point. Um, and therefore, let's put the cutting oil in first. And then my tap. Like I said, the tap will follow the hole. So there's no, I mean, it's, I just want to hold it straight so it supports itself, so it doesn't break off and doesn't break my flange. Otherwise, I just. And carrots start to make a little noise again. Let's get a little bit more cutting oil in here. Maybe making a noise, but it's really slippery. It's moving really well. And we're almost through. Actually, just felt them underneath on the bottom. And it is, I can feel it on the bottom. And there we go. It turns nice and freely. So now undo it. And we've got to watch it when it gets to the top so it doesn't just fall out and damage the threads on the top. That can start the bottom threads just fine. So actually I did both of them on the camera. And now clean it up. Use some, uh, there we go, it's almost out. There we go. Nice, nice. And uh, we'll clean it up. Use some um, probably mineral spirits and or uh, denature alcohol. Um, probably denature alcohol will work fine. And since I'm going to use brass screws on this one, just to, I'm going to test it, test my threads screwdriver and should have both sides tapped so like I said if you're doing this this isn't probably essential there we go nice take a little bit to get it going nice and tight does not stick through the bottom which we wouldn't want it to and now I'll be able to hold my um, 
uh, ground wires here so I can bond both my ground wires together. One will be bonded to the uh, uh, the boiler and then this other one will be bonded to the base. So uh, Next we'll be working on uh, mounting the base to the boiler.